Okay, also in Congress this week, the Senate Budget Committee heard how much climate change was to blame for Florida's insurance crisis and how Florida's insurance problems could spread nationwide. Senators were told that Floridians were paying the highest premiums in the country and that many of the state's private insurance companies are flimsier than they appear. They heard that the nation is ill-prepared if climate change causes more hurricanes, tornadoes, and wildfires. Republicans at the hearing downplayed the danger from climate change and said insurance costs were rising because of inflation and increased government spending. So, Victor, uh, the point of the hearing was to say that some people are moving out of Florida because it is becoming more expensive, and one of the reasons is mm -hmm. higher insurance caused by climate change, uh, and that it was a warning to the rest of the country that this may happen to you. Republicans said, no, it's government spending, it's inflation. That's what's causing inflation to rise. Where, where do you come down well, on the Well, most issue? of the things to me personally are wrong. I worked for the insurance commissioner's office. My family was in the insurance business for the good part of 40 years. I know a little bit about this subject. And the best, actually there's a, a gentleman named Carl Zimmerman who was a former state rep from, he penned an article in the Tampa Bay Times, it's one of the best things I've ever read hmm. on how to solve the insurance crisis in Florida. And the, re the reason we have, and to compare, our, the average homeowner is paying $6,000 a year in insurance, uh, homeowner's insurance, as, and, and Louisiana, for example, is only paying $2,400 a year. What's the difference? The difference is we need uh, citizens, that, which is being used to kind of take up a lot of policies that, that a lot of companies won't write, uh, needs to be shored up. We need to have a catastrophic insurance fund. That's what the national debate was about in Congress. And this has been going on for many, many years. Hey, hey, April, I gotta ask you, we've had several special sessions about insurance. We've had tort reform here in Florida. Has that made a difference yeah. in lowering insurance costs here in the state of Florida? Absolutely no. not. No. And it's actually gone in the wrong direction. No. I think that the legislature, what they've done, is under the guise of helping homeowners has not helped homeowners and I can tell you post Ian there are a lot of people suffering from lack of payments from their insurance companies they can no longer have the ability to recover attorneys fees when they have to sue them um, to get payments for the the policies they're paying for over the years is to ensure that they have the rebuild have, after a hurricane and they're not getting it. Have insurance companies been the winners out of these special sessions? Yes. Yes, exactly. Carlos, you were in the legislature, we just have 30 seconds, what would you say? I would say that we should be putting money back in the pockets of Floridians through direct subsidies from our state budget, capping premium increases in the short term, and increased oversight of our insurance companies. We just found bipartisan agreement right here on this panel. The Florida legislature has taken its eye off the ball on things like yeah. property insurance and affordability. We need to get back to work solving real problems, not waging culture wars and dividing people. Okay.